students, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about multiplying binomial to a binomial. Okay, so for example, so we have here multiply each of the following. So for number one, so we have x minus 3 times x plus 8. So to multiply binomial to a binomial, so we're going to use the FOIL method, okay? So for the FOIL method, so first we have F, okay? F means the first term, okay? First term. Alright, next we have O. O means outer term. Next, so we have I. So, I is for inner term. And last, so we have L for the last term. Okay? So, we have here number 1 again. Um, X minus 3 times X plus 8. So, we're going to use the FOIL method. So, first, is what we're going to do is to multiply the first term. So our first term is this one. Okay, so first term, so that is x times x. So x times x is x squared. Alright, next we're going to multiply the outer term. So our outer term is x times 8. Okay? So, this is our first term. This is our outer term. So, O. So, X times 8 is plus 8X. Since this is not positive, so we're going to write the positive sign here. Next, we're going to multiply the inner term. Okay? If this is the outer term, so our inner term is here. So, 3, negative 3, times x. So, this is our ter inner term. So, negative 3 times x is so negative 3x. Next, we're going to multiply our last term. If this is our first term, so our last term is this one. Negative 3 times positive 8. So, this is our last term. So, negative 3 times positive 8 is negative 24. This is negative because they have, um, they don't have the same sign. So, this is negative. Now, combine similar terms. Since we have a term here, so we're just, um, bring down x squared and then 8x minus 3x is equal to positive 5x minus 24. So, our answer in number 1 is x squared plus 5x minus 24. Okay, number 2, we have x plus 2 times x minus 2. So, we have here um, same given but different signs, alright? So, again, we're going to use the FOIL method. So, multiply the first term. So, here is our first term. So, x times x is x squared. Next is our outer term. So, this is our outer term. So, x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Next, our inner term. So, this is our inner term. So, um, 2 times x. So, that is positive 2x. And then, our last term. This is our last term. Okay? So, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 because they don't have the same sign, okay? So, now combine the similar terms. So, this, uh, since this is um, similar, so they are similar, so just bring down to, uh, just bring down x squared and the negative 2x plus 2x is 0. So, cancel it and then bring down negative 4. So, our answer in number 2 is x squared minus 4. Okay, so for number 3, 
What we're going to do again is just to multiply the binomial to a binomial. So we have here 3x plus 5y times x plus 2y. So again, we're going to use the prime method to answer number 3. So again, multiply the first term. So this is our first term. 3x times x is 3x squared. Next, our outer term. So this is our first term. Outer term is this. So, 3x times 2y. So, this is our outer term. So, 3 times 2 is positive 6. And then, since we have different variable, we have x and y. So, we're just going to write x, y. Because x times y is x, y. Okay, next is our inner term. So, we have here 5y times x. So, this is, since this is positive, so write plus 5. Again, so x times y is x, y. Alright? So next, to, um, 5y times 2y is 5 times 2 plus 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay? Since this is both net positive, so we're going to write positive here. Okay? Next, y times y is y squared. So, next is to combine the similar terms. Since they have the same variable, x, y, so we're going to combine these terms. Okay, so first, bring down 3x squared plus 6xy plus 5xy is 11xy. Plus, bring down 10y squared. So, this is the final answer in number 3. So, we have 3x squared plus 10xy plus 10y squared. And for the last example, so we have your fraction. But again, this is easy. So, and for number 4, we have 1 half x plus 3 times 8x plus 2. So, what we're going to do again is to use the FOIL method. So, 1 half x times 8x okay so this is 8 over 2 so 1 half times 8 will become 8 over 2 so simplify so 8 divided by 2 is 4 okay so we have here 4x squared all right so 1 half x times 8x is 4x squared so this is our first term and then for our outer term so letter o so 1 half x times 2. So 1 half x times 2. So we have 2 over 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we have here plus so x. We don't write 1. So we have here x. Next, 3 times. So the inner term. So we have times 8x. So we have here 24x. And then for our last term, so we have 3 times 2. So this is our last term. So 3 times 2 is we have positive 6. Now combine similar terms. So we have here similar variable or similar terms. So we have here x and um, 24x. So again, bring down 4x squared. x times 24x is plus, plus 25x. Plus, so bring down six. So the answer in our, uh, so the answer in number four is four x squared plus twenty five x plus six. So that's it. That's how we end our lesson for today. So if you have more questions, just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So goodbye.